So in this topic, uh, I'm going to talk about the long COVID and the rise of early colon cancer. What is the connection? What do you what do we know so far um, from research? So you might have read, heard in TV that millions are still struggling with symptoms months or even years after COVID infection. I got a bunch of patients. Um, at the same time, doctors are seeing an alarming rise in colorectal cancer in younger people under 50. Could both these health crises be linked through something hidden inside us or our gut bacteria? So let's break it down and see what the latest science is telling us. So long COVID basics uh, define. Um, so when the people have history of COVID uh, infection uh, and they have lingering symptoms beyond 12 weeks after infection, they're called long COVID. And usually symptoms are very non-specific. There's a fatigue, there's a brain fog, shortness of breath and palpitation, some sleep issues, uh, anxiety issues, gut issues. Um, and these are basically a spectrum. There's not, some people have some, some people have one or two symptoms. Not everybody got all of them. Um, so we don't know what's causing it except that uh, there is a persistence of viral fragments and um, in people's body. There's an immune dysregulation and, and uh, um, there's a messing up of autoimmunity. There's a disruption of gut microbiome, uh, which can cause systemic inflammation. Uh, and uh, dysbiosis, which is imbalance of gut bacteria, is found in many long COVID patients. Um, colorectal cancer is surging on people younger than 50, uh, especially in their 30s and 40s. I mean, lifestyle factors, poor diet, obesity, sedentary habits, they all play a role. But new science points to gut bacteria uh, producing um, uh, something called a colibactin. Uh, it's a genotoxin that can directly damage DNA and uh, promote cancer, colibactin. So what is the gut connection? Both long COVID and colorectal cancer link back to gut health. COVID infection uh, is known to disrupt gut microbiota balance. Chronic inflammation from this biosif can promote precancerous changes in the colonic tissues. Gut liver axis and the immune signaling um, gets disturbed and it has a systemic effect. So what can be done for long COVID? Um, in, we have some places rehab program and there's a pacing strategy, some ongoing clinical trials. There's one big one in UC Davis. Uh, for colorectal cancer, screening is critical. Colonoscopy uh, starting at age 45. Uh, and earlier, if there's a family history or symptom, there was a lady I just saw last week and she had a very strong history of colon cancer. She's in mid 20s, so I sent her for colonoscopy. You got to eat diet rich in fiber, prebiotics, probiotics, restore um, balance, uh, eat fermented food, limit processed meat, alcohol, and sugar. Very important. Um, and um, long COVID reminds us how one virus can reshape health for years. The rise of colorectal cancer among younger adults highlights the importance of gut health in preventing disease. Protect yourself by prioritizing gut-friendly foods, staying active, and never skipping cancer screening if you are at risk. Um, the gut truly is the center of health. Uh, you know, when your stomach is messed up, your day is ruined. At least that's the case with me. So, um, but in general, that's so true. Uh, the gut truly is the center of health. You are what you eat. And now science is proving it more than ever. So take care of your gut. Thank you for watching.